Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. This is the first video of 2021. I wish you all a very happy new year. I wish that all your dreams get fulfilled in this year. I'm continuing with the interview question series of Sitecore. So let's get started. I'll try to cover three topics and give you the questions. Try to answer these questions in the comment section below. So let's get started. So our first set of questions are from component reusability. The first question would be, what property automatically prompts a user to choose a data source when adding a component in the experience editor? So what is the name of that property you should be aware of? Then the second question is, what two things does the data source template do? So what are those things which a data source template do? How it helps the user that you should be aware of? The third question is, why would you use a dynamic placeholder? So what are the advantages of using a dynamic placeholder? So you should be aware of this. Then the fourth question is, how do you modify properties of a dynamic placeholder? So how do you do that? You should be aware and somebody could ask you and you should be able to explain what are the steps involved in doing that. The fifth question is, what is component parameter? So you should be aware of this. What is component parameters? The sixth is, what is rendering parameter template and how do we use it? Please try to answer these questions in the comment section below. If you will find any question difficult, ask me. I'll try to answer and resolve your queries as well. So please try to answer the questions in the comment section. The seventh question is, what is compatibility rendering? I repeat, what is compatible rendering? Now this question is asked so many times. So you do check this out. The next set of questions would be from the topic navigations within the site. The first question is, what is item resolver? What is its function? How do we use it? So you should be aware of the item resolver. The second question is, how do you get the URL of an item? The third question is, what type of object does the get child method return? Now this question is definitely asked. What type of object does the get children method return? The fourth question is, what are the disadvantages of using access kit ancestors when retrieving the item? So what are the major disadvantages? Why do we not use this uh, access.get ancestors? So you should be aware of that. So try to answer these questions in the comment section below. The next questions are from the topic complex fields. So these are the questions. The first is, when would you use the field source? I repeat, when would you use the field source? The second question is, what would you use to render the contents of an image, text, date, or link field and still be able to add it in the experience editor? So what would you use and how do you use? You should be aware of that. The third is, what site code data field name is space class would you use with a tree list field? So what is the name in space? for the tree list field this is asked so many times the fourth question is after rendering the contents of a tree field how would you enable authors to easily edit that field in the experience editor so how do you do that you should be aware of it the fifth question is what are non-editable fields so i repeat the fifth question is what are non-editable fields the sixth question would be, you should be aware of these terms and how do you use it? You should be aware of this like field editors, edit frame, edit frame button. So what are the, these terms you should be aware of? Generally, sometimes people ask these also. So these are the three topics I have covered. I hope you will answer these questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and please do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.